Hi, I'm Sarah Swan and I help people with their mental health. Today's video is about love bombing. Yes, I said it, love bombing. Um, and it's exactly what it sounds like. So when you're entering a new relationship, it's great to be able to have a connection with someone and it's great for you and them to be able to show love to each other. But what point does it get excessive? And at what point does it become love bombing? And it's exactly how it sounds. It's this over the top, over grandiose um, gestures of love. And it can be done through text message. It can be done through video chat, um, phone calls. Um, and it's not even just the text message itself. It's like there's a lot of things that fall into this. Um, but it's this idea where they're in this fantasy world and they imagine you as your future, you know, if you're a girl, the future wife, you know, and they're imagining your life with you. And that's okay to a point, but we want to be present. And um, when it becomes excessive, it's kind of a red flag, essentially. Um, and it's basically, and sometimes this could be like manipulative. It may not necessarily be, but it could be. Um, because if they're giving you all these gestures of love, it's basically to make you fall in love with them. Um, now, it could be based on their own programs. Maybe that's how they learned how to how to woo a person or, you know, to be in a relationship with someone. Um, maybe they had past experiences that were that hurt them and so maybe they're they're insecure and they're desperate for love and that's why they're doing this so it could be something as simple as maybe they don't mean to be doing it um, and maybe they are um, just insecure or it could be that they are manipulative um, by doing stuff like this this idea of grand gestures it makes you kind of fall in love if you're the girl especially if you also are insecure and you feel desperate for love um, then you fall victim into this and it becomes almost like a, this little trap because um, as they let's say they give you a lot of like love and then one day they ghost you and then they come back and all of a sudden the cycle repeats it starts allowing you to be controlled by them um, I've read up stories where some girls actually do fall into this trap now it may not necessarily be that or not um, but anyway, I wanted to give you some red flags, um, some some more explanation and some tips that you can do um, with this topic. So, so with, for example, some of the things that they could do is one one red flag is this idea of excessive, just being excessive in in general, um, excessive texting, um, excessive. Um, Maybe they're sending you memes. Um, I had a guy once send me a meme two days in um, saying, will you marry me? Like it literally happened two days in. Um, I've also had guys within 10 minutes of texting imagining me be their future wife. Like it's just this excessiveness. This is excessive of this fantasy kind of land. Um, they'll say things and also it's like the repetition and the duration so this idea like let's say you're texting it's okay to text but if it's 24 7 or phone calls you should always have a limit on your phone calls so if you're going to call them every night when you're just beginning to get to know this person four hours is too much three hours is too much even two hours essentially it's great that you have a connection but you don't want to go too fast too soon um, because it makes it very unstable you want to have a stable ground um, so things that they could text you would be stuff like just thinking about you and it's like it's not even just once but it's multiple times that they text stuff like this um, or sending you pics of flowers or you could have in a relationship where they're over excessively sending you flowers like real flowers and gifts I've had one guy want to shower me with gifts like I didn't even know him and he literally wanted to um, he was talking about buying me like jewelry for Valentine's Day and I didn't even know him like we didn't even go on a date and um, it was just like over excessive and then like when I actually did meet me or meet him his 
attention was completely on me. Like, it was over excessive. And that's what I mean by this. Um, stuff like, I love hearing your voice. I notice myself smiling when you're texting me and that's okay again but when it happens multiple times in a day it's just too much um, I am a one-woman man sending pictures of you as a child now that's okay to share pictures but if it happens within the first me week of meeting them red flag complete red flag it's like whoa like and also going too deep too soon. Um, this idea of you just like you're oversharing information. You don't even you don't even know that person essentially. And all of a sudden, like your level of went from shallow to very deep really fast. And that's just again, it makes it very unstable. Um, um, even this idea of doing the identity test or the love languages, that's great. Again, it's great to be able to kind of do that in a relationship, but again, you want to slow down the pace. Um, and if this guy or girl is just doing this excessively, then it's just too much. And again, it could be manipulation, but it could also be maybe they're just anxious or in insecure about the relationship. Um, so sometimes, like I said, this can happen slowly, um, can happen gradually, and then all of a sudden it becomes like extreme. Um, I've actually had that happen before, um, and it's like this fantasy land, like I was saying. Um, it creates this fantasy land of high of love and dopamine and all those chemicals that go through your body. And when you are in the fantasy land, especially if you, the girl or guy who are receiving this, it doesn't make you think clearly um, like this idea of love is blind um, and you often will put that person I have done this before where you put that person on the pedestal and you only see the good elements of them um, and it doesn't allow you to see the bad elements so when you are beginning to date it needs to be less excessive so that you can so you can actually see who that person is and decide whether you want to be with that person or not. Um, but, um, but anyway, so in also like when this happens, you might get the feeling that something is off just because it's over excessive love bombing. Um, and, um, just listen to that feeling. So what can you do? Um, and I'm sorry that this, I was trying to make it concise, but, um, what can you do as the girl or guy on the receiving end? Boundaries, um, self-love, um, also how to protect yourself. You don't want to overshare. So if this guy or girl is oversharing, you let them know, you know, be like, you know, I really do like you, but let's, let's tone it down a little bit. Or let's say they're texting you excessively. See, but again, you can tell them, okay, well, let's not text as much, you know, or let's not have the phone calls as much. And, um, let's only meet once a day or once, sorry, once a week. Um, so give them boundaries. And now if that doesn't work, if it, if they keep on pushing, pushing, then you also have to make a choice. Is this person right for you? Um, it really is a choice. Um, and so another thing is putting yourself first. So it goes a long way. Um, again, the self-respect, the self-love. Respect your time. Respect your value. Know that you are valuable. Um, and someone who is, obviously, if they're acting in this love-bombing kind of way, they are either insecure or they are manipulative. And either way, it kind of makes for very shaky ground. And so you have to decide whether it's worth it. Also recognize that that one guy, if you do start liking this guy, recognize that there's more guys out there. Um, there's guys that will, will know how to do this and navigate this. You can also teach them along the way. That's possible too. Um, but like I said, also listening to your gut, listen to your feelings of whether what's happening, whether it's, you know, innocent and you can guide them or whether you think it's manipulative. Um, just listen to your gut. And um, 
again try to slow it down if they're love bombing you um and um yeah so identify whether you know it's just whether it's too much for you or not and um go from there so i hope this video helped if it helped please um subscribe and like and um i look forward to doing more videos and um let me know if there's like any video topics you like um i myself am working on on dating and so i get some of these ideas from dating but uh yeah <laughs>